All right, let's take a look at the six numbers every sales manager must know. And what we're talking about here is that consultative sale or that strategy session. So where a consultative or advisory sales professional is running a 45 uh, minute to a one hour session where they're exploring a prospect's needs, understanding whether or not their high ticket program will serve them and then enrolling them for that program. So this is that, that sales interaction, if you will. And in many organizations, most organizations, in fact, that are selling these types of offerings, there's no tracking uh, measuring of any numbers of any kind. And then in other organizations, we have what we call paralysis by analysis. You're looking at so many different numbers that your head just spins. So what I can tell you is in sales, it's quite simple. Let's not overcomplicate it. There's not a multitude of numbers and things that we need to look at. Yet at the same time, let's bring the same excellence to bear that operational folks bring to tracking and managing numbers. And that marketing brings to tracking and measuring a marketing pipeline. So that's really the emphasis here. So what are the six numbers, the most important numbers to look at? Number one is strategy sessions completed. Number two is was an offer made Number three is, was an enrollment made? Was a sale closed or won? Number four is the closing percentage. Number five is the average deal size. And then number six is cash collected. Let's drill down into each of these. So strategy sessions completed is really important. Okay, so we look at it as like a relay race. It's no longer marketing generates leads and throws them over the fence to sales. We're teammates in a relay. So marketing is doing everything within its power and being tracked and measured by their ability to set up a strategy session, to get a prospect to show up for said strategy session. But at the same time, it is part of the sales professional's obligation to participate in that showing. So when we look at it as a baton pass, there's a moment that marketing and sales are holding the baton together. Marketing's done everything they can to get the prospect to show, but now what is sales going to do to get the prospects to show? That's where things like video text, native video text, introducing yourself, all of those mechanisms. So number one, we want to track and measure the number, the ability of that sales uh, professional to participate in his or her own show rate. And number two is, was an offer made? This is really, really important. After going through a diagnostic discovery call, you're first understanding, does my product or service really actually help them? And if it doesn't, you have a moral obligation not to make an offer. But if it does, you need to make that offer. So we want to track number two is the number of offers made in a completed strategy session. Number three then is, was an enrollment made? Did the person sign up? Did they articulate why they must enroll, right? In old school sales, that's the closed sales, but was the opportunity closed one, right? So number three is, did we win the deal? Did we lose the deal or was it not a fit? From that now we can calculate the fourth most important number, which is the closing percentage. And that is in many ways, most important. What is this sales profession's uh, aptitude ability to enroll the people that he's participated in showing, run a strategy session for and made an offer, right? So that's the ultimate measure of a sales professional's capabilities, right? Their, their, their talents, more, more specifically their results is their closing percentage. Number five, then, is the average deal size. So in high ticket, you've got offers for people to pay in full. You've got payment plans. And that creates the amount or the average deal size that that pro enrolled. And it's really important to track and measure that number. And the best of the best are going to be carrying a higher average deal size. Okay, so again, number five is the average deal size. And then lastly, number six is cash collected, right? Now I know businesses are run on revenue and booked revenue, but the most important 
aspect for a sales professional is their ability not to just drive revenue, but to drive cash into the bank. That's the ultimate outcome of any business is cash flow. So we want to hold accountable, track and measure our sales professionals' ability to collect cash. So again, really straightforward. Those are the six most important numbers. How many strategy sessions did you complete? Did you make an offer? Did you enroll? Did you close that sale? What is your closing percentage? What is your average deal size? And how much cash are you collecting? If you found value in this, I built a scorecard for you. And when you drop a comment below, share with this group something that is most valuable coming out of this training. I will send you that scorecard so you can use in your business. Or if you're a sales rep, you could track and measure your own performance.